Joffe handed over the reins to what he terms the youngsters because he believes in proper succession planning. But he couldn't sit still and by his own admission was getting bored. He injected $8 million into this new investment vehicle. Obviously looking to invest in lifestyle type aspirational assets. And who knows, difficult day to list I guess. Difficult times in South Africa and of course now the Americans are bombing Syria so really good timing. The investment vehicle in Joffe's reputation saw a private placement of $153 million prior to the listing itself. Not looking to raise any more money at this stage. I think the big challenge now is, is to invest the money prudently and let's see. I mean, hopefully we'll get some opportunities coming our way. One of those opportunities is Sorbet, a beauty therapy franchise with 160 South African stores and an increasing footprint in the UK. It needs capital for its expansion plans. We have been in discussion for a while and, and we're hoping that it'll come to fruition within the next six weeks or so, that Sorbet will become the first listed acquisition of Long for Life. As the country comes to terms with its rating agency downgrade to sub-investment grade, this listing is a ray of light. This is a day when many, many South Africans are out on the roads expressing their concern about where we are. And here you have one of the doyens of South African business starting a new business, full of hope, long for life, a wonderful name. So I think it's a very important uh, point to be made that there is a lot to, of positiveness happening in the country, a lot of things to be done. Not the best day to list on the JSC, but then Brian Joffe is a serial entrepreneur and he's taking his chances and a long-term view. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN at the JSC in Johannesburg.